Welcome back. We are going to cover a video that has been highly requested. Part one is going to be how do you use or connect with Zoom and navigate a meeting, including breakout rooms, from your phone, a handheld device. Part two will be how to use your phone and host a meeting. But today we are going to focus on the participant view and experience. Thanks for joining me. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services. So I am going to get into, okay, so you have a link, you click, Okay, the view is still okay. Okay, so you hit the link and I've joined the meeting and you can, I'm going to turn off my video there. All right, so I can join the meeting. I've done that. If I tap on the bottom of the phone handheld device i can turn on and off my camera and i can join with audio and then i'm dialing in or cellular data so if you click dial in because your mic maybe isn't working or for some reason you need to do that then um, so phone numbers will come up that you can select but if you're, you're wanting, wanting so you have the speaker up at the top here at the bottom here you have to tap on the bottom of the phone in order to find your mic start your video and share screen wouldn't be an option because i'm a participant here on the phone i can click the participants to see who's all here um, if i wanted to do that when i click more it gives me options like chat and i can um, text hello and then send to everyone so when i want to get back i can just click the arrows here at the bottom again more gives me chat some of these other things you won't see because it's my account. I, I can click um, this too, where show my video. If I don't want to see myself when I'm participating, I can click that. Again, that's in more. There's different, you know, meeting settings. That's where I clicked the not show myself. So I can raise my hand uh, as well. And I can also lower my hand again tapping at the bottom more I can you know like something and that will show up um, on the main screen for everyone else these go away eventually but the raised hand I need to turn on and off so I've given myself uh, yes I agree and then I can turn that off as well when the per when the host has shared their screen this is what we'll see coming up when i swipe to the, the left i can see the participants when i swipe to the right and then what's come up here is this little pencil that is annotation so i can be writing on this the share screen um, as well i can erase all of that, I can save the um, that shared screen. I can use the arrow. Um, again, I can erase, and and then when I tap it again, it'll go away. So that's joining annotation. Now, if I haven't touched anything for a little while, or I touch somewhere else, that goes away. So really, it's just tapping the the bot towards the bottom of the screen. So if you've lost your your screen, where's my my Zoom? Just clicking and getting rid of the other things. 
and maybe your phone's going to act a little funky like mine is right now. <laughs> oh, now I've just accidentally left the meeting. So I'm going to just rejoin the meeting with the link again. Then we see the message that has popped up on the screen um, from the host. And if I want to leave the breakout room, I can do that. So when I click leave, I want to leave breakout room, not the meeting. And so I'm going back to the main room. And I'm going to show you this again. So more is chat I can pick and type here to everyone or I can click and send it to someone individually. The little icon here with the pencil or pen, that's where I can even call it, change the color. And with my pen, I can be a highlighter and I can uh, write on the, the whiteboard um, or I can erase it. And when I go back with the arrow here, let's just see here. There we go. Um, so the, you might be bouncing around a little bit on your phone as you get used to you know, there I even zoomed in. I was able to do that with the screen. Check participants, who's here. More, I can be, you know, doing thumbs up. Tapping on the bottom again brings that icon up. So chat, raising my hand, all of that comes up when I tap at the bottom, click more. I can turn on and off my camera, on and off my mic. And when I swipe, I can see everybody else. I can see the gallery um, or go back to what's being shared. Close rooms, leave now comes up. If the sharing screen stops, then that annotation isn't there anymore. Again, more with chat, thumbs up. And if I open all rooms, it's not automatic and I open the rooms. What comes up is the option sign to room one. Now it's just come up, join. And now I'm joining the room. Okay, so I can see myself or I can see other people by clicking at the bottom. There's just one person in the room with me right now. And that is, and then we can, if we tap, we can see up at the top how many um, minutes are remaining in the room. I could leave still more. Okay, so when I'm chatting in the breakout room also, I'm only chatting with those in the breakout room. Let me just check. Yeah, so in the main room, I'm not seeing that chat. So you can chat with each other in the breakout room itself. It won't go to the main room. I'm gonna ask for help. Now I'm joining as well. If I turned on my host camera, you would see me turn that back off. But okay, I'm going to leave, leave breakout room. I'm going to go back to the main room. And I'm going to close all rooms so everybody will come back. And you can leave the meeting as well. And that's that. That was a little bit of a navigation tour of how to join Zoom 
via your phone on your handheld device phone and being able to navigate the Zoom meeting on your phone. There was a recent change that I noticed that the help didn't come up. That may have been part of the latest update or the next update might be correcting that. But if you have any questions, um, please comment below. Also, you can check out in our blog, we'll have some screenshots and some step-by-step -step tips for participating in a Zoom online meeting or learning experience through your phone. Thank you for watching and checking this out. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services. I hope you have a light bulb learning moment today and that you're able to facilitate engaging learning experiences for your participants.